guys, it's Clara. Welcome back to my channel. We are in my kitchen right now and I'm cooking dinner for my family of three. I usually like cooking dinner three to four days ahead of time to really, really save time and to avoid the temptation of ordering takeout so early in the week. We do like to order takeout, but that is as a treat on the weekends. So here is my meal plan. I usually like making the meal plan on Sundays or Mondays, depending on when I can get the grocery shopping done. Um, because Boo is sick this week, I ended up going grocery shopping on Sunday. I usually go Monday while she's in school. And I plan things out uh, basically around the meat. I don't eat a ton of meat, but my husband is definitely a meat and potatoes guy. So I kind of plan that out and to make it so that we don't have a ton of leftovers because he is totally the type of person that does not um, like to eat the same thing over the course of many, many days. When I was single, I would eat the same thing, you know, Monday through Friday. So in the beginning of the week is when I like to do the fish because if I cook the fish ahead of time and heat it later on in the week, it's gonna smell funny and that is very unappetizing, especially to my husband. So tonight, which is Monday, we're going to have salmon. I had Sunday slash Monday because I wasn't sure how much leftovers we would have last night, Sunday night, but we did have leftovers from uh, Saturday. So this is gonna be Monday's meal with uh, broccoli and potatoes. And then tomorrow and perhaps maybe Wednesday as well will be spaghetti. It just depends how many leftovers of this I have with a simple salad with just iceberg lettuce, really, really easy. On Wednesday, Thursday, again, depending how much spaghetti is left, turkey lentil soup. Friday, I do have some Indian food that we can heat up. And then Saturday is takeout, which is usually uh, a Thai or a veggie pizza, that kind of thing. So I had a pound of ground turkey and I had just cooked it without any seasoning or anything. Half of this will be going in the spaghetti, which I have Dollar Tree stuff for. This pasta is excellent from the Dollar Tree and it, it's very similar to the taste of some of our authentic Italian restaurants in the area, so I highly recommend this. And that is what's cooking right here. And my tip is if you plan on making pasta ahead of time or uh, freezing it or, you know, if, if there's going to be days in advance that you're making this pasta, cook it al dente as much as you can because when you reheat it, and this pasta is almost done, when you reheat it, you don't want it to be um, too mushy. So I'm just going to take that off the heat. <clears throat> and with the pasta as a sauce, I'm going to put the garlic marinara from the Dollar Tree. And since I only have half a jar of this to work with, I'm probably going to just use somewhere between a third to a half of the meat for the spaghetti. And then the rest of the meat will be for the lentil soup. This filetti garlic marinara is pretty okay. It's a bit on the runnier side though, just FYI. Uh, and what I'd like to do to doctor it up a bit is to add some crushed red pepper for a bit of spice, some Italian seasoning, and some garlic powder. Over here, I have mixed the potatoes. I cut up three medium uh, Idaho potatoes, tossed in some garlic powder, salt and pepper, and olive oil. And I will be cooking the salmon with that. If there's any leftovers, I usually have them for lunch at home. For this, I only put salt, pepper, olive oil, and a bit of lemon juice, and that's it. Lentil soup is one of my favorite things to make. Uh, it's a bit more vegetarian friendly. Um, however, this one, because my husband will be eating it, will have a bit of the ground turkey. I love the red lentils, the brown lentils, the green lentils, whatever. I love them all. And it's such a great soup because you can kind of throw in a lot of stuff that you're trying to use up. So I have these leftover crushed 
red tomatoes that I'll throw in or you could do the fresh tomatoes. I have some spinach that I need to use up. I'll put some carrots in there. I have some leftover celery. I'll probably do maybe a third of the bag of the carrots depending on how much celery I put in. But it's so easy to make and once all the flavors kind of meld together, it is so super delicious. I'll also put some garlic and probably a half of this onion. So since I'm not using any oil in this lentil soup recipe, uh, I cook the carrots first in a bit of water because they are the most dense vegetable. Uh, otherwise, if I were to use oil, I would do the onion and garlic first, brown those because it adds a nice flavor then add the carrots and the celery. I will be using the Dollar Tree's Ferrelli minced garlic and this is probably more than enough but uh, when I see garlic like this that's pre-preserved in a jar I usually need to use twice as much because I feel like the flavor is so um, not as strong as I would like. So one thing about lentils if you've never worked with lentils before is that they tend to expand and you really don't need as much as you might think, at least in my opinion. So I added just under half a cup to this soup. After adding some salt, some pepper, vegetable stock, I stir this all together and I will bring it to a boil. I will probably add um, a bit more water or perhaps another can of stock. Uh, but I tend to go on the less saltier side, so I try to be careful there. Plus what's nice about these kinds of soups where you can pretty much throw almost anything is that I like to add some of the ground chia or flaxseed. You hardly even notice really that it's there. I just add maybe half a tablespoon of each. And it's a nice way to add some of those healthy kinds of fats. And then towards the end, I'll add the canned spinach. I don't like to add the spinach right away because it's already softened uh, being in the can. And then I'll also add the rest of these tomatoes. And then also towards the end, I will add the meat that's been hanging out waiting to be used. These are 27 ounce cans. Um, so I ended up with a lot of spinach left. Uh, what I'm going to do is save some of it. I might end up putting it in omelets this weekend. Maybe a baked quiche, we will see. And I saved about a quarter of the can to go with the spaghetti. So when I do end up serving this in a few days, I may end up mixing a little bit of the spinach. Okay, so the broccoli is cooking for tonight to go along with the salmon. Uh, I just like to cook it in a bit of water and put the lid on a little bit off kilter to let some of the steam out. Here is the lentil soup. I did end up adding a cup of water. There was some fluid in the um, tomatoes as well uh, and a bit in the spinach. So I ended up adding just a quarter of that can of spinach. Every time I make lentil soup, it ends up being a touch different. The key for me is to have the garlic and the crushed red pepper because if you don't have those things it ends up being kind of bland especially since I don't add a lot of salt. So I got about three minutes to go on this boiling. Um, I have it boiling probably for about 10 minutes give or take a few. And here's the salmon. I just put some fresh lemon juice on top. Mmm, so good. Mm -hmm. 